The improvements to homes are bound to be very attractive to many residents. But what else is LNQ planning to do? What about improving the look of Rushy Green? The improvements to homes are bound to be very attractive to many residents. But what else is LNQ planning to do? What about improving the look of your area? Caroline Bogajus is LNQ's Assistant Director of Economic Regeneration and Stock Transfer. She knows Forest Hills, Sydenham and Perry Vale very well. And along with grant blowers, she's been involved from the start of the consultation with residents. So she's very familiar with your concerns. In reality, Forest Hill, Sydenham and Perry Vale each have their own priorities and issues. Residents have told us that tidying up the general area is a real concern. So, as well as bringing residents' homes up to a decent standard, we want to go the extra mile and invest in their environment by improving green spaces, boundaries, fences, parking and security. How do you plan to do that? We will invest more than £3 million to improve the surrounding area. Together we will develop a programme that meets residents' needs. That all sounds very nice, but how will you put it into practice? By working with residents and the community board to understand their priorities, this will help us to develop the Environmental Improvements Programme. This will include improving and replanting some of the green areas to make them more attractive to residents. Residents have told us about the poor state of fencing in many areas of Forest Hill, Sydenham and Perry Vale. We will be offering new quality fencing that will not only improve the look of the area, it will also improve security. For added security, we will also improve external lighting and install door entry systems where they're needed. Michelle, the big question of course is rents. Will they increase dramatically if LNQ becomes the new landlord? The simple answer is no, but let me offer some reassurances. In our offer to tenants, we will clearly set out our rents policy. The government has stated that all tenants across the country should pay the same rent whether they're with the council or a registered provider. At the time of transfer, tenants in Forest Hill, Sydenham and Perryvale will pay the same rent as they would have paid the council. Rules for the calculation of target rents are exactly the same for the council and LNQ. Current government guidelines state that rents can be increased by no more than the retail price index plus half a percent plus two pound per week. LNQ will increase the rent at a lower level than the government guidelines, RPI, plus half a percent plus one pound per week until it reaches government targets. Once target rents are reached, tenants will not pay more than they would have paid if they had remained with the council. Rents will then increase in April each year, just as they do now with the council. What about tenants who claim housing benefit? Will they be affected? No. Tenants will also still be able to claim housing benefit to help with rent and council tax payments if that's what they do now. All the details about rents are explained in the offer document, which will be sent to each tenant shortly. But if they have any concerns, they should come and talk to us. We're here to help. So far, we've heard that LNQ plans to invest heavily in making improvements to your homes and your environment. But what about the many rights that tenants have under the council? Will those change if LNQ becomes the landlord? Michelle, will those rights change if LNQ becomes the landlord? There will be no change. All of the rights that tenants enjoy with the council will remain the same. The only rights they will lose is the one that allows them to form a tenant management organisation. Why is that? Because housing associations don't have the power to set up tenant management organisations. However, we will create community boards which will give residents a real say in what happens in their area. The Forest Hill, Sydenham and Perry Vale Community Board will have real power to influence and monitor our performance and service to residents. One board member will be offered a place on the South East Neighbourhood Committee. So apart from that, all the other rights stay the same. Does that include the right to buy? Yes, the right to buy and the current discounts will be preserved along with all other benefits residents enjoy with the council. In fact, the terms and conditions of the current tenancy are included in the new LNQ tenancy agreement. Where transferring tenants have already succeeded to their tenancy, this will be reset and another succession would be granted. This is a real benefit for families who have concerns for the future well-being of others living in their home, including their children. 
So now we know all the facts, and we've seen the sort of improvements L&Q plan to carry out. But how will stock transfer affect leaseholders? Gary Cross has the answer. If the transfer goes ahead and you're a leaseholder, L&Q will become your freeholder rather than Lewisham Council. Every leaseholder will receive a separate consultation document in the autumn, containing all the information you need about our offer to you. Transfer to L&Q would not affect the terms of the lease, as L&Q would take it on with the same terms and conditions. L&Q has capped the cost of repairs at £5,000 in the first five years. This means we will only charge leaseholders up to £5,000 for any repair work to the structural and communal parts of the building in the first five years of transfer, and only by the terms of the lease. We'll consult with you on any repairs that we intend to carry out. £5,000 might be too much for some leaseholders to pay in one go. Are you going to help them with that? We know not everyone can afford to pay a lump sum, so LNQ offers a number of options to make payment more affordable to suit individual needs. LNQ wants to be open and clear about charges it makes, so that leaseholders understand what they are paying for. Leaseholders will get a written estimate once a year that provides a likely cost of the services provided. Within six months of the end of the financial year, a statement will be sent through, outlining the actual amount that we've spent. At this point, we'll tell leaseholders whether there is a further amount to pay or give a refund for anything we haven't spent. We have a dedicated service charge team that will deal with any queries leaseholders may have concerning the charges and statements that they receive. Leaseholders will also be fully involved in long-term decision-making through our leasehold sounding board, subcommittees and through our various methods of resident involvement. Some leaseholders may like to make improvements similar to the ones that are offered to tenants in their homes. If that's the case, LNQ offer the opportunity for leaseholders to buy into the work at cost price and take advantage of lower prices if they choose from our range of fixtures and fittings.